What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer and thank you for giving me your time and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Here we go with another side mission and this one is going to be Horn of Plenty. And folks, this is a very, very, very long side mission just like the Gone Fishing. If you have not seen that video, the link to it will be um, at the end screen. If it's not in the end screen, just check out the playlist for it uh, in the description. In that video, and I'll do the same thing in this video, there will be a breakdown uh, with timestamps to help you get through this. I'm going to cut out as much as possible. Right now, this video is over two hours long before I do any editing. And that's actually taking out some of the helicopter um, back and forth and stuff. Hello there. The hell of a rig you got there. Yeah. She's a beaut, ain't she? This is just a little maintenance work. But yeah, we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. What, you printed the parts? Pretty wild, huh? You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Really? This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't right. Again with this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left. And joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Yeah, where's that at? It's called, uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks. See you around. As you can see, we are at the cave. We're going north to Smuggler's Cove. That's where this mission starts. And let's go ahead and move on to the helicopter. I'm going to hop in the helicopter here. Now I'm going to edit out the large majority of this trip. So we're going to hop in the hel helicopter, excuse me, and we're going to make a hard left. And you can see it's over three kilometers away. So let's go ahead and skip to that area of the video. Here we are at this location here. This is where we're going to go in and talk to Shelby. She is the person that builds these things, these drones and stuff. Don't forget, if you do come across um, soldiers and stuff, make sure you take them out because you do get weapons, ammo, um, points and stuff like that. Uh, I will cut as much of that out as possible if I don't find it necessary. Here I'm going to show you an overhead look. There is not a lot of um, soldier presence at this location. But you can see where everything is. There is two guys inside that building right there. You'll see here in a second. And we're going to be coming here three times, I think. And it's, it's that way each time we come here, so... Again, just gotta make sure you take your time and you use the drone. You can see the flashlight coming through the building. So you know, there's at least one person in there, but there's actually two. And again, I will cut out as much as this as possible. There's a bunch of friendlies all over the place. So again, if you rewind that video, you'll see there's a set of steps that leads right to her. Let's see what she has to say. 
I'm not here to hurt you. You're... you're not with Sentinel? Those assholes. They've killed everyone. I'm sorry, but listen. I need to know what you can make with this equipment. With the right set of blueprints? Anything. And I mean literally anything. Ours is a prototype. It fabricates metal alloys. You just need the raw materials and... and it prints in any chemical configuration. The applications are limitless. Our generator could revolutionize the energy industry. The parts for the device and electricity from dirt. And that's just the beginning. Electricity from the dirt. Or weapons from the sky. Listen, the application could be dangerous in the wrong hands. I get it. We were on the verge of changing everything. Those dumb soldiers took the two components the printer needs to convert the raw materials. Science finds a way to make power cheaply, and, and these bastards steal my equipment to make bombs and guns. If you can get those parts back, I could continue my work. It could really make a difference here. Well, you know, protecting the fate of the world from Sentinel seems pretty important. The only question is, where am I going? There's a port in Smuggler Coves. It shouldn't be too difficult to get to from here. The second is on a Sentinel convoy. I'll give you the route. Okay, there's two different things you have to go to. You have to go to the truck. I cut all that footage out, leaving the building and everything, going straight to the helicopter. You want to go to the truck and get the parts from the truck, kill everybody around the truck. Do not destroy the truck. I don't don't know if that will make you fail the mission. It very well could have. So again, do not destroy the truck. The one we're headed to, it says 1.5 is the truck. There's another one, it's 2.2. That is the port that we are going to. But as you notice, as we get closer, you're gonna see this image moving because the truck is moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more footage out here and show you exactly how I did this. Okay, right here, if you notice, the truck is gonna go right. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and fly ahead of it. So it has to come towards me. Now this is a highly traveled road. So if you get the opportunity to take out people, take them out. You can use the points, you can use the weapons, you can use the ammo. And again what I'll do is I'm just gonna just cut out all the dead parts here and go straight to um elimination of opponents got a helicopter flying overhead so make sure you cover up with the camo got these guys right here you see these guys down here I don't know where that guy went. It was like he, he fell into a sinkhole or something. But now we've got the two guys t to our right. You can see now he's coming to the right. Actually, one guy to our right. Now the other guy's coming to our right. So there's a little, little bit more footage here I can cut out. One thing to help you, put your drone up so you know exactly where these people are at because they're not going to come right at you right away they're going to take cover as this guy gets a little closer to me I really wish they'd give us a regular sight I can't stay in iron sights on this thing those two you see here I got a weapon on the road I picked up an ASR down here we got a green weapon or a green item I don't know if it's a weapon yet and yes we've got another sniper rifle M82 
Remember how I told you how this road's highly traveled? Here comes a car right here. Take out the driver right away. This guy's going to jump out. I'm going to switch over to my pistol and finish him off. Now again, I'm going to cut out as much of this as possible, but I want you to see what you're going to face. If you're watching this video, it's not about being a spoiler because you want to know what to do. So it's... I've heard some people complain about spoilers, but if you're looking at a video on how to do something, apparently you're not worried about spoilers. Okay, so the truck is not moving, so I need to get back in the helicopter and find out why it's not moving. I need to move over closer to where the truck is. So I don't know if the truck has crashed. And if you guys have not seen Angry Joe's video, it's absolutely insane. He was playing co-op and he was in the top of one of the trucks and yeah make sure you don't land by the trees to mess up your helicopter hit the ground right away take out these guys here real quick That fast, that easy, folks. Got a helicopter, make sure you hit, go prone and use the camo. That way you won't be detective. But Angry Joe was showing how they was in a gun battle and every time he would shoot a vehicle, the vehicle would stop and everybody would get out of it. They would stop pursuing them. Yeah, actually, I'll put a link to his video in the description. He did a review of this game. It's just absolutely horrendous. We already know about all the bugs, but some of the stuff he was talking about is just crazy. Now right here's our truck. So it looks to be unoccupied. It got a vehicle turned off the road there. Pay attention. If you ever see me in my videos pick up a plant or something, pay attention because you might need that plant. So here's our truck. The vehicle is unoccupied. You see these people right here. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. But I'm going to cut out that footage. If you want to do that in your game, you can. After you take them out, there is some intel over here. So again, if you're in this area, make sure you hit these little spots. Pay attention to the little map on your screen. You know, when you see a circle over somebody's head and an enemy's head, do not kill them. Because you need to talk to them. They got they got information for you. I don't know how that guy took two shots. Let's go ahead and get over to the truck. Now we're approaching the truck, you want to go to the on the side in the back, right there you see where it says take, you got the drive, then right next to it it says take. And there you go, there is your first 3D printer part. So now we're going to get into the helicopter and we're going to move over to this next facility. I'm just looking to see where they're going. I'm not going to engage them unless they come my way. But this next facility folks, it is going to take you some time to get through. This next facility is a large part of this video. So I do want to show you real quick. Again, I'm not going to show you the whole clip, just a real small clip. When you are in a new area, make sure you put your drone up and scan the question marks around you. This is going to help you out tremendously. Not only is it going to reveal locations for you, it's also going to reveal fast travel points. You see one right here. So, so make sure you do that. You got three different layers of zoom. Start with your first one and move in. And that way, you know, when you get to do certain missions of the game, no matter you know what kind of mission it is, instead of having to take and ride a helicopter all the way across the map, you can use a fast travel point and make it a whole lot easier for you and save you a whole lot of time. 
Now here's our next location folks and this is a port I tried to go in from the right I wasn't able to do that I got killed there's a, a middle pathway that runs underneath this here actually you're gonna see me land here there's a middle pathway that uh, goes in between all this like a little canal you can actually swim through that to get to the other side of the lake and that's what I end up doing I'm just showing you right here where you can land if you want to attempt to go on this side you can probably use this method that I'm gonna show you on the other side on this side as well but I think it's easier from the other side okay again you want to lay down and you want to put up your drone and you want to scan this entire facility I will tell you now there is a large number of these heavy soldiers you see right here that has the machine guns I want to say four or five maybe uh, this area I'm, I'm concentrated in right now next to the helicopter make sure you stay in this area right here I'm gonna come back to it but there is a guy with a speaker on his head he needs to be the first person that you eliminate right there he is this person needs to be the first person that you eliminate before you kill anybody else because he is the one that calls in for reinforcements when you get spotted. You take him out and uh, your clearing of this area is going to be a whole lot easier. And some people might go through this area a whole lot faster. I'm more the slow person. I like to pick people off with the sniper rifle and work my way in. Now I'm not going to show you scanning the whole map, you can do that yourself, but you'll see how many people is actually on here when they do get alerted. Okay, now I'm back. And again, I want to watch this guy. Sometimes on the other side of these crates you see in front of you, he will come on this side. Um, I died two other times trying to do this. Um, both times I died it was to the machine gun guys sometime the last time I died I had two of them shooting at me at the same time so this time he did not come on this side of the building so I want to take the silencer off because I want to make sure I get a clean direct shot I don't want no power taken off of my shot now he is going to walk to the right then he's going to turn around and walk to the left. Again, in your game, he could be walking a totally different way. He could be at a different location of the map. But you have to make sure this is the first person you take out. Because again, failure to do so, you're going to have a whole lot more people coming at you. Now, I believe he stops in this window right here. Yes, and I pick him off right through the window. watch them go down real slow you can see some of the yellow icons they all haven't lit up yet so I want to come up a little bit now you can start to see everything now everything's lit up yellow all those real thick symbols those are your heavy machine gunners those are the guys walk around with the machine gun Okay, my third shot is the one I nail him. Yeah. It's okay, I'll take three shots to pick somebody off at over 400 meters away. It's a long distance for that to travel. Again, now what we're going to do is we are just going to pick people off. Again, we got the helicopter. Take and cover yourself up with camo. So I'll pick this guy here off. Kind of shoot them through the trees here so again this is going to take some time so I'm going to try to cut as much of this as possible out what I'll do is I'll go in and, and I will edit out and just show the eliminations right here's one of those heavy gunners see that sound right there it, when you hear that sound, you know you've taken his helmet off. That's the sound you're looking for. Otherwise, those guys are just going to suck up the ammunition. 
Actually, here's another heavy gunner. So we'll go ahead and take him out. So I'm aiming a little too low. Gotta go a little higher so I can get that helmet off his head. There goes the helmet. And now I'm gonna get spotted. And I'm not really for sure who spotted me yet. Who's shooting at me. You see me, I'm, I'm gonna take a couple rounds here. I'm gonna leave this footage in so you can see where I'm getting shot from. See, I'm getting sniped. And I, and looking at the video, I know where it's coming from now. It took me a second to find it. So if you hit the ground, then it's hard for him to see you. But you can see right there, if you see right there, yeah, you can see when he's got his, his sight on you, you can see the glare off of his scope. So again, you're just going to sit here, folks, and you're just going to take and uh, eliminate these people. See, right here's a person right here. It's got that symbol on them. Now see how they fell down, but they did not die because they had that symbol on them. You have to interrogate them. We got two guys up here on the road. See a truck going by. Actually, it's a train. So I want to take these these guys out because I don't want them to come in behind me. Just go down the hill a little bit. Man, this gun bounces so much. You go over here and, and, and get you know whatever rewards that was dropped, and make sure that you. Pick up this intel. There's going to be some intel right here. Personally, I don't recommend you looking at this right now. You can, but I would wait. Made my way back down hill here. There's one, maybe two guys that decided to come up the walkway. You can see the yellow arrow with the symbol. This is one of the guys you do not want to kill all the way off because he's got information for you. Wait for him to stand up. They will stand up and just get the shot. You see how they're down. But again, they're still there for you to get your intel. Okay, now I'm approaching this guy. This, this is what you want to do. You want to, you need to grab him by pressing X on the Xbox controller. Then you're going to hit Y to interrogate him. Then you're going to hit A on the controller. This. There's nothing left. I've already told you everything. Please, just let me go. And you see there, it, it told you where it's located at. It says now it's a, it is stored in the warehouse. So now you know exactly where your objective is at. Now I'm just going to start picking people off. And you can see, anytime they get alerted, it's, it's always a good thing because you can see where they're located at. Now, one thing you're going to want to make sure you do is there's a turret over there. You don't want to make sure you disarm that turret. Now, I'm going to get in cover so I can get to higher ground and get some more shots. Nobody was moving, so I started making my way back down. And then this guy comes running. I take them out. I got somebody running to my right over there. See, I almost forgot to pick up these points right here. 
Got a weapon right here. Yeah, if, you know, when I've been messing around working on videos and stuff, and I've watched people's gameplay uh, or streaming and everything, some of the people I follow, I see people run right past the white weapons or white indicators. I don't understand why, because if that's something you don't want, you can pick that up and cash it in. So make sure you don't make that mistake. Pick it up. I mean, if you don't want to, you don't have to, but it's a shame to waste the free points like that. And if you don't know how to sell your stuff back, leave a comment down below and I will tell you. Now I'm leaving this little extra footage in here because I'm going to show you the path I take. I clear out this open area here. Now, it sounds like there's a drone flying around, but I could not find it. That's why I'm looking up and around. I could not find it. It might just be the sound that's in this area in case you get to this location. But you're going to want to go up these steps here to your left. All this intel and everything that is laying around, I will come back and get that at the end of the game. Now what you want to do is you can go up here, you can actually hack this and use this, which you will see me do I think later on in this video, if not you'll see it in another video, or you can just disarm it. Now I'm going to go ahead and run over here and pick up this part. Go up the steps and make a hard right, then another hard right. It's going to be in a crate right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on through the rest of this video. There's not going to be no commentary from now until we get to that part. But what I will do is I will put a timestamp uh, right now telling you where you need to go. But I do end up taking everybody out and picking up everything that's on the ground. It just it takes a lot of time to do it.
ready. Stay sharp. Anything can happen. forever.
Scanning for targets. Okay, I lied. One of the things you're going to want to do is, if you get detected, go into this building right here. The high rise, go up the steps. There's nobody in this building, okay? So there's only one way for them to come get you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place a mine down right here. But warning, you place your mine down here. Get upstairs, and if they're close by, do not place a mine down here, because it will kill you. If you're right here, that mine goes off, it's going to kill you. You need to be up at least to the third floor. And you're going to see how these people just get fed in, and fed in, and fed in. It's like... A lot of these guys get taken out because they have only one way to go. And the good thing is, when you do get the heavy gunner come in here, you're going to hear his footsteps. You're going to hear how slow he walks. You're going to hear the hard footsteps. Let's see, I think we got somebody coming now. This might be the time the heavy gunner was stuck at the bottom. I think, yeah, I think he's stuck at the bottom of the steps. It won't let him come up the steps. He's stuck right inside the doorway. I think you can hear him trying to move. So I'm going to go down. Now remember, if you have not heard the mine go off yet, do not go down these steps. You need to be two floors above to be clear from that mine. So I don't remember what that sound was. There's one time that the heavy gunner gets stuck right here in the doorway. And I have to go down and shoot him to make him move. That's friendly in there. Stand right here till you see people coming. See, here comes a heavy gunner. See, right there he is. So I'm going to go up steps. Because I won't be able to shoot him in the head as he's coming up the steps. Before he can even see me, excuse me, before he can even see me, I won't be able to shoot him in the head. Okay, I cut some of this time out because I wait for him a long time to come up those steps. And you can see him right there. What? Terry's changing position! Terry's down! You can hear him walking. I'm going in. Here they come. <laughs> See, the heavy gunner really does not stand a chance by using this method. Enemy troops, contact. See, they're just going to keep feeding you. They will just keep feeding you. I'll go ahead and cut the rest of this out because 
there's even there's still more that's not showing up on the screen that end up coming up the steps. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and exit the building. I'm gonna take out a few more of these enemies. It's got a sniper up here, so you can see where he's at. And he's actually the last one that's showing up on the map, but there is still a whole bunch more here. So don't think the coast is clear, folks, because it's not going to be. And down goes Moses. There we go. Again, I want to say this again this time. I uh, will mean it. Uh, there will be a gap here with no commentary. If you want to watch me go around and pick up the pick the stuff up, so you know where it's at and everything, that's fine. You can. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and skip over to the facility and go talk to Shelby again.
Now, what I did was, because I didn't have a helicopter, I had to go back to the cave, the hideout cave, and get a helicopter brand back. We're at the facility here again. I'm not going to show you all that fighting and everything I did. It's just like it was last time, folks. Every time you come here, it's going to be the same thing. So literally, the only thing that's going to be different is you're going to go talk to Shelby. So I'm going to go ahead and, and splice this video and pick up to where we come talk to Shelby. Now we're going upstairs from the first floor. See the steps right here? I'm going to go up these steps and make a right. Then she'll be on your right as you come around the corner. Let's hear what she has to say this time. Look at that, you're still alive. I can't believe you actually pulled it off. But listen, I need one more thing. I'm listening. The operational blueprints for the drones. The thing is, I hate that my technology is being used to make weapons. With the blueprints, I could develop new ways to stop Sentinel's warmongering. And where exactly do I find those blueprints? At the drone factory? Exactly. It'll be heavily guarded, but I must have those blueprints. We're designing a city that could be deployed on Mars. Are you serious? Look, I'll get them, but let's just focus on saving the Earth for now, all right? So we're taking our helicopter over to the next location, folks. This is another huge location. So you got two big locations in, in this uh, mission. Again, you're going to need to take your time. Earlier I spoke about using one of the turrets. This is where you're going to see me do that. Go ahead and get the drone up so you can see what all we are going to have to deal with. There is going to be two of these man turrets, or I guess unmanned turrets, that you can actually man. You can see right here, you got some intel right here. There's some other stuff hanging around here you can take and uh, unlock as far as the, not blueprints, but intel and stuff. But take a look at this, folks. We've got a bunch of people. You're going to need to zoom in your... Um, shoot. The drone is zoom. You're going to have to zoom it in so you can see these people. Because they are all over the place. What I end up doing is... I'm going to take and make my way across there. I'm going to pick off some people make my way across then I'm going to take and disable the one um, sentry gun turret whatever you want to call it on the left hand side of the map then, I, then I'm going to use the one on the right hand side of the map so when opponents come up to me I can just take them out and you'll see how that'll work out but again, make sure you use your drone, take your time. If the battery goes dead, pull up another drone. Because the last thing you want to do is be surprised by somebody and get detected if you're pulling this mission off without being detected. Because you can see they also have flying drones as well. Because I actually end up getting detected, and we'll see how that pans out right now. So again, I've located my guy with the speaker. And you're going to see I did not kill him. And because you don't kill him, you're going to see a message come up on the screen saying that they're calling in reinforcements. So that's the reason why it's a must that you take him out first. I was just a little too far away. It was too dark. I thought I had a better sniper rifle, probably would have taken him down. Now it's telling me that reinforcements are coming in. So this could be helicopters, this could be ground personnel, 
it could be a number of things. You got these guys back here. They're not even activated yet. So until they get activated, I'm not even going to worry about them. What I need to do is I need to take this guy out with the speaker. Because they will keep calling in for reinforcements. Again, this is a long portion of the video right here, folks. Looks like this portion here is about a half hour long, maybe a little, more, a little bit more. And I'll eliminate as much as possible as I can. Because I'm laying down on the ground every time I go to aim, it's pointing my gun straight up. I'm waiting for this helicopter to get out here. Now we've got a car coming down the road, so we got to be careful we don't get spotted by the car. You can see where both the turrets are now in question. This guy's on the other side of this tree. So we're, we're just going to move across the street and take a position on the right hand side so we can get a shot on him. I'm trying to get a little closer so I can see exactly where they're at. I can kind of see them through that tree there. Take the shot and take them out. So now this just got a whole lot easier, folks, because we do not have to worry about reinforcements coming in. But you do see we do have a drone right there. And I even pop a shot at it. Try to get it to come over at me. And it would not do it. Now, I'm not for sure what sets them off, but here in a second, you're going to see everything just light up yellow. And just look at all those people are over there, folks. I got people down on the road now. As they've came out of the gates looking for me. Now, I don't know... You know, if that was some special bonus or what, I have no clue. Like I said, maybe when you do this, it'll be used to multiple people, so it's going to be a whole lot easier. But going solo with all these people here, and the fact that we have to go into the middle of this location, you really got to eliminate the perimeter so these guys right here you see on top of the roof they have RPGs I'm trying to get this guy, but a little hard to see in the dark, but I do finally get him. Again, don't forget, you can use the YouTube setting options to fast forward this. Okay, I'm going to put the drone up to find out where these guys are, and they're actually right here on top of me. Okay, now I think a drone comes into play here sometime soon. Take this one out. Take that one out. 
and the drone that comes into play, it's not your average drone. There's two different kinds of drones. There's a drone like the, it's a bluish color. Then there's a drone that actually fires at you. And that's the one that comes at me. You can hear it right now, it's over me. And again, you know, just take in, take your time. Pick up the stuff. Now, a second ago, that car went from red to white. Now it's red again. So I don't know if they're going to leave. I don't know if they're down by that car or what. But we're going to move over here to the right. Okay, let's take out some of these guys here. Get this guy right here. So the good thing is once you shoot them, they're going to take off running. And this guy actually pinned himself in a corner and allows me to take him out. And there's another guy straight back from where he was. I can't get a good shot at him, so I'm just going to fire a shot at him. And what do you know, this one does the same exact thing. It just makes it extremely easy to eliminate them. So we still had this one guy up here on the rooftop with the RPG. So now we're going to put the drone back up. I took out some more footage. And just as I put the drone up, it goes white again. So I can see this person up here walking around now because he's not hiding because there, there's no alert. So since he's walking around, we're going to take them out. And put our drone back up, but I will eliminate this footage. Alright, this sentry right here. This is the one we can man. There's one on the other side that we're actually going to take out because we're not for sure if it can shoot across and hit me while I'm on that one. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you me entering the area. Okay, now we're going in. You can tell how we've been here, it's gone from nighttime to daytime. And like I said, and you could probably do this a lot faster, but for one, I'm taking my time doing this for the purposes of the video. But also, you don't want to take and come across one of the heavy gunners or something, or one of the drones and have them take you out. Because you're going to see there is a number of these drones. So and w while you're buying stuff like this, go ahead and take this stuff out. But also make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'm going to show you how to unlock a locked door if you're not aware of that. You can see the other sentry down there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this footage out. I'm basically going to be going all the way across the area over to there. Okay, we get to this one here and you go up to it where the little hood is and if you hit uh, press down on your right joystick on the Xbox, it will deactivate it. Now let's go ahead and pick it up again back on the other side of the map. Okay, now you can see we're here. What we're going to do is go over here. And this time, instead of pressing down on the right joystick, we are going to hack it. And we'll have our two weapons come out. But the problem is that nobody knows we are here. So we gotta find somebody to shoot. There we go. You can see all the yellow markers that are still there. Now look how they're all popping up, folks. This is the reason why you can't just rush in here. The other good thing is you got this barrier that's a protector. And literally you're just gonna sit here and pick these people off.
this is just gonna make the job so much easier for you. That actually looked like it might have hit me. There's another one of those drones down there. The other good thing with this one here is the fact you got the street to your back. If anybody comes down the street, you can see them. So this just makes everything a whole lot easier for you. Some of these people, like the gunner you see there on the left hand side, the heavy gunner, they are not going to move positions. So I'm actually, I'll actually have to leave here a couple times. Again, you can skip through all this if you want to. Again, this is mainly showing you a technique that I used on how to complete this. Right here's the heavy gunner. And the good thing is that it's unlimited ammunition. I really can't say what I want to say. You have to be careful with the words that you choose. Let's see if I could destroy that. I couldn't. It looks like that might be a, another drone over there. So here, actually, let's go ahead and cut this here. I get out and I chuck a grenade down there. I'll get back on this and see if anybody is going to come up here. I do get the drone to move in. That guy that you see moving over there, he is still inside. He just not came outside. We'll go down here and see if we can pick any of these people off. Come on, we need to reach them before they destroy us! still see there is quite a few people down here still Come up my way. Let's see what the turret shows. Are they making an advancement? Got one guy came up the steps. You can see his red marker right there. Two more guys on the move down there. And again, this is a slow process, but would you rather do something like this or take and go ahead and take this guy out now? Uh, rush through this, get almost to the end, and then have to restart the whole thing all over again. It's 
always better to be safe than sorry. And again, you can always fast forward the video. <laughs> Always find out for you. No, we're, we're not sending no help. We need to go out there and just give them hell. So let's go down and see what this guy has to say. Again, you're going to press X to grab on the Xbox and Y to interrogate. info about this that's everything I know don't kill me come on right, we're just gonna take and knock him out go ahead and pick up everything here these are electronic devices from the drone that we took down. So now we're going to go ahead and move on. I'll go ahead and cut some of this out. And a guy hiding right here. Still see the two inside. Now, I'm not for sure when I'm playing the game. I'm not for sure if they are glitched out or what is going on. So make our way inside. Make sure I got my health on. See if I can use a syringe, and it cannot. So put the health one back on. And we're gonna move inside. So once we get inside, we don't know where anybody is going to be. And remember, don't go straight for your ejector right away. You know, you got two people here, one of them being a heavy gunner. You want to find that heavy gunner. I see him across the platform there. So I'm going to switch. Here I need to back up a little bit. And there we go. Contact, contact, I got bad guys. I lost sight of the hostiles. Find them, don't let them escape. Again, we go up here and we will pick up this. You're dead. Yeah, see, I don't know where this guy went, but I go up here and I pick up this intel anyway, because that's the main objective. That way, if something happens and this one person does take me out, at least we've got the objective, right? So now, collected that, I want to show you right here. This is a locked door. This is how you open a locked door. Like I said, I did a lot of searching and everything, so there's no reason to include all that footage. You will do that when you play the game. I don't. I, I think it's just any soldier. Just pick up somebody and take them to a door, and it will open up your door. There you go, folks. It's that easy. Also, see how fast I dropped him? What they don't tell you is on the Xbox, if you press down on the left joystick, you can instantly drop them where you stand. 
You don't have the motion of throwing them. You don't have the motion of dropping them. You will literally drop them at your feet where you stand, which I find a whole lot easier, especially if you're trying to hide somebody in a bush, instead of have to deal with the whole spin and then yeah, and tossing and stuff. You literally drop them right at your feet. Now I removed all that searching, but yeah, I just wanted to show you we still had yet another person. So if you just run around and you don't pay attention to your mini map, you're liable to find yourself shot. Because that could have easily been a heavy gunner. So let's go ahead and move on. You can see right here where we're going. Let's go ahead and clip this. And here is the helicopter. Again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to land the helicopter. You've already seen me here two other times. You know, I'll just take and land a helicopter and I will cut to me talking to her. Actually, me going into the building. So as you go through the front of the building, you got the set of steps. Go up the set of steps. You want to go to your right. Then make another right, and Shelby will be right there. Look, I'm just really busy, okay? Dude, Look, you're making me anxious. Trouble. And let's see what she has to say now. I can't believe you got everything. But I owe you. Don't mention it. I'm gonna upload the blueprints now. Shouldn't take long. While I'm doing this, feel free to rummage around the lab. You've been a great help, and I'm sure there's plenty of rare ingredients and whatever that could help you against Sentinel. I appreciate that. You gonna be okay? Yes. I'm gonna stay with the printer, and I promise to keep hidden. Thank you again for everything. There you go, folks. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget... In all these videos, we have a long mission like this, and it takes hours to do it. I will give you timestamps in that video to help you. It'll save you a lot of time because, folks, I'm looking at uh, about an hour and 17 minutes in this video if I don't take anything else out of it. And uh, this was well over, again, two hours. This was just like the Gone Fishing mission um just not collecting the stuff you had to go to places but the problem is two locations you had to go to you had large facilities that either you had to clear out or you had to try to get to where you wanted to get to finish off the mission or that part of the mission and it would be a little complicated thank you for watching thank you for giving me your time this is the bulldozer get your killing on I'm out of here. Here's a couple more options you might want to check out. The Breakpoint Playlist, you can find that right here, as well as another mission, Gone Fishing. 19 things you need to collect. I'll show you how to collect every one of those, and that, is, that video is loaded with timestamps to help you along from start to finish. Again, thank you for watching. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.